Hello everyone and welcome to the 2022 UIM bug video. This is the first video of this type that I'm making and I decided it would be really cool to be able to go back in here and see how much we progressed and kind of save the state of our account year after year after year in December. And also because I love watching all of those bank videos of very developed Iron Man. Granted, my account is not that developed in terms of well, stuff that you have. Partially because I'm a UIM, but partially because I don't really have that much impressive stuff. But I thought it would be cool to do, so let's get started. Obviously, as a UIM, I cannot use the bank, but we have the death bank, so we will get into that shortly. But first, the gear. I have the max cape, and that is probably the most impressive item that I obtained in the whole history of this account. We maxed this year, 2022, in February, and that was, well, that was what I was doing since I created this UIM, so, yes, uh, I'm really proud of that achievement, personally. And uh, as for the other items, this year, in terms of PVM, we completed the Corrupted Gauntlet, so that was probably the biggest grind PVM-wise that I ever started. I have the Bow of Fardinen in the stash unit but we have our crystal body and legs here and the helmet was never created i only kept five armor seeds because usually you also use other helmets and it's kind of heavy on the whole inventory space what else i still use a fury i don't have a torture and i'm not in a big rush to get one but i do have other magic amulets we'll also get to that in a second and the rest of the gear is pretty standard, lowish for what standards have become lately. And the cream of the crop, which is the looting bag. Now, uh, people in UIM Discord already know that, but I am a whore for supplies. I like having a lot of supplies in my bag, and I'm not really too much into getting items from PVM, so I am flexing my supplies here. I'm storing five different herb types, dwarf weeds, cadentines, lantadimes, snapdragons, and torstals. And we are post-99 uh, herb lore now, obviously, because uh, the whole max thing. I will shut up about the max cape now. And uh, these are all the herbs that you don't get in high quantities of seeds. So I just plant them right away, and that's why I pick them up and put them in the looting bag. Five herbs, a lot of space but I can't bring myself up to just leave them on the ground. I always feel like I'm gonna run out of potions eventually, so why not just keep all of the torstals and snaps, etc. And uh, as for all the other herb seeds we get, I keep them in the seed box, and we have quite a lot of seeds. Uh, these are the ones that you get uh, pretty much a lot more common, so uh, I just chuck them in the seed box. We have 640 toad flax, and this is Avantos. Runners, Quorums, and Irids. And I also have 33 Celestrus Seeds. That is the leftover from Brimstone Key chest opening we did like a year ago or more. Uh, and I should really get down to planting those, but I really don't feel like it. But it would be good to save the seed box slot. I'm not sure what I would fill it with. Probably either Limpwords or I don't know actually uh, maybe magic seeds because I sometimes need those for master clues so not in a big rush to free this spot but it would be pretty good next we have potions these are all the potions that I have usually I have two of them on me but it just so happened that I'm regearing now so I decided to chuck all of them into the bag we have super restores Sarah Bruce Super Combats, Staminas, and Prayer Potions. Uh, super Combats are the only ones I keep in two doses. Generally, as a UIM, you mostly want to keep your potions in two doses because otherwise you're wasting a lot. I like my potions in four doses. The only one that I really don't want to waste is Super Combats, so that's why they are in two dose. And I am keeping stamps for the eventual... Hawks grind and if I go back to herbivore otherwise they probably should be dropped um but for now yeah let's just 
keep them. Why not? Then we have 4,700 uh, 4, uncut rubies and a little bit over 4k uncut diamonds. These are for a crafting record for 6 hours that I planned to do and then a bunch of other UIMs also bagged a bunch of her gems and did that so I'm not sure if this is even possible for me using both rubies and diamonds. I might need to only stack diamonds for the record and I would need like four times this to have enough. That is a number out of my ass because I'm not actually sure but I know I need a lot more so I'm not sure if I want to maybe I'll just cut them and make them into jewelry to get a lot of GP from them because one of the biggest goals for my account that I have is 200 mil fletching XP and we are still a lot away and as you know fletching takes a lot of gold so uh, for now, the plan is to get a crafting record with those, but if other people get to it and gather your, their gems faster than I do, then probably we will just cut it into jewelry. Next, battle staves and fire orbs. This is a dumb goal that I have. While we are still killing Serb, I'm stacking all the fire orbs we get, and then we will just use them up. This is not for a record or anything, it's just a cool thing to have. Uh, what's not cool is that it takes up two bag spots and I'm desperate for bag spots so I really hope we get back to Slayer soon and uh, currently I'm still waiting for Jagex to add Dragon Pickaxe to Calphite Queen loot table to continue with Slayer and I'm feeling more and more like a clown doing that so we might just go back to Slayer without the change because it's been like half a year now of waiting next wines of zamorak also from serb i should do wilderness diary and then you can telegraph them noted uh but for now my stubbornness prevents me from making range pots because i want to make them all with noted wines of zami so i'm doing a lot of pvm content well i am not doing a lot of pvm content but a lot that i do is without range pots and it hurts. Noted sharks, uh, I wanted to drop them, but then they suddenly became useful for me, so they are staying. Noted magic logs, slowly used up for birdhouses whenever I feel like doing a bunch of them. Uh, I wanted to turn them into bows to help the whole fleshing goal, but for now they are my birdhouse source because collection log has priority over fletching xp uh noted dragon bones another stupid goal that i have i would like to get a lot of those i'm a hoarder and i would like to get a huge big stack of dragon bones pretty much all of the pvm bosses well not all but like half of the pvm bosses drop those especially slayer bosses and since I plan to do a lot of Hydra and I still have Serb and other bosses to do, uh, why not just stack them? They should be used on Chaos Altar, but I really don't like Chaos Altar, so we might end up using them at the POH with Marantils, and that is fine by me. Chaos and Blood Runes, uh, pretty good stack, would like to get this to a million one day. And I am keeping them because if I eventually start doing TOB and by some miracle get a scythe, it would be good to have them. Uh, they can always be turned into GP, but they can't really be efficiently turned back because buying bloods is a pain. And the chaos runes because I just, I just keep them. I keep using them up for stuff like onyxes and uh, trident charges, so why not? Then we have the Necklace of Anguish, this year's new Zenite. Uh, pretty happy to have this with Bofa. It's very, very good. Ranger Boots. I already have one pair stored in my POH, and these are only here, so I can make a clip of making Pegasians when I get the Crystal from Serp and then drop them over to my alt. Another stupid bag slot taken up by my stubbornness. Then Serp. Every UIM will tell you that this is a drop item, but I'm still not done with Zalra, so it's a keep. Blowpipe, 
it's a fantastic item for low defense monsters, so definitely a keep. Uh, I should probably make Amethyst Arrows and go Camp Shans, but we'll get to that. Occult, standard. Dragon Hunter Lens, which was slightly outclassed by the Fang, but I'm glad that I, I, I'm I, pretty sure it's better now. This was one of the items that I absolutely wanted to get because I viewed it as essential for the prayer grind, and my god, I'm so happy to have it. I'm so proud of this item. Even if it gets nerfed into Oblivion and there are other weapons, this one would probably be the hardest for me to get rid of. Then we have the Trident and the Ancient Staff. Uh, you can only get one Ancient Staff on a UIM from the NPC, well, on any account. And uh, I don't want to grind the other ones. I know a lot of UIMs just drop them after they get done with Slayer, and they either store up enough points for a Master Wand uh, or just manually cast their spells. I am too lazy to do that, so it just stays in the looting bag. And Jagex recently uh, released a blog post that said that there might be an upgrade to the ancient stuff from a new boss, so I'm crossing my fingers for that. Uh, next in the inventory, we have a bunch of arrow shafts. Uh, whenever I need some downtime, I just go to Redwoods, cut them, and make them into arrow shafts. This is not as good of a way of getting them as buying them from Ranging Guild, but I think from Ranging Guild they are like 6 GP per shaft. So if I bought all of this, that would be like 35 mil GP, give or take, that I saved by just utilizing my AFK time, so that is pretty good. And we obviously need a lot of those for uh, 200 mil fletching. Divine Rune Pouch, another... Recent addition from TOA, fantastic item, blessing for UIMs, and uh, yeah, some GP in Crystal Shards. And also we have some junk at Arno in the Dev Bank. So let's look at this. I have some Dark Totems that I plan to do whenever I Dev Pile, probably whenever I'm grinding Heart Goes again for the stashes. Oh, I didn't mention that current goal in late 2022 is to build and fill all of the clue stashes and uh, for that i need a lot of hard clue items still so we are doing that in catacombs getting a lot of totems and having to end ourselves a lot so we can go to the wilderness cooked sharks i have no idea why i keep this probably will get used for something uh ancient shards that is actually um a lot more that i need I hope to be able to carry this until we are doing Slayer again and I get a Serp task because those drain my Arc Light charges. And currently, whenever I have a Serp task, I don't have a huge load of Ancient Shards uh, on me and I have to camp some monsters in between. Or I could use them on Abyssal Demons in Catacombs and get a pretty good per XP or on Necreals, that would probably be the best use. So there is a high chance we will be doing that. 70 medium caskets, I just like to stack caskets and I didn't want to do a big episode of just opening clues, so this is the mediums, we'll be opening them one day. And the master caskets, my current pride and joy, just 16, but uh, we are stacking them up to 100. Probably my prediction is that the, this time next year we will have 50. Yes, let's say 50. We will see about that. December 2023. Uh, Myth Arts, Cosmic Runes, who cares? Uh, Dragon Dart Tips from TOA. I'm not sure if I will be going back soon, so these might be a drop, but then again... I still need to do shamans, so I might just make them and use them up at shamans, because why not? Zulura scales, uh, my other AFK ability, uh, what I'm seeing, AFK activity is fishing up Zulura scales, uh, so I can sustain blowpipe for some grinds like hill giants, etc. And the recent big drop, Oz Mountain's Fang, very, very good. 
I still think it's better than lands on Mithril Dragons and we need to kill a bunch of those for the logs, so I am extremely happy, plus it's very, very, very good in TOA. So, and I'm pretty sure at multiple other places outside. Extremely happy about this one. All right, <laughs> very long talking in one spot. Let's go visit the pride and joy of every OM, which is the POH. We're gonna quickly stroll through our Marques and Magic Wardrobe. What do we have here? Uh, there's nothing really that I'm too proud of to showcase, so we are just scrolling through. I have some skilling outfits, I have some miscellaneous things here. I finally got a torso this year. Uh, I bought a boost, and I think that is probably the best use of all the GP that I'm dropping to my alt. Um, and I actually got it because I needed it for a clue, but now it proved to be useful. And uh, probably my biggest shame in the POH, I still don't have elite void armor, so I should probably get down to doing that very soon. And then the magic wardrobe, we have the Amy's saw, and this is a mostly empty wardrobe. I was going for a lot of graceful outfits, but then I finished 99 agility and this is all we could afford, so there I'm missing like half. And in Cam the Hammer, it actually has a use when you're smithing adamant at Blast Furnace. And I got it previously and I dropped it. So we don't have it. I dropped it because it was not yet storable then. Uh, but now it is. All the Mystic sets done except for Shattered Relics. Uh, because I'm not really a big League enjoyer. And of course, the Dusk Mystic. My biggest nemesis in this game. Actually, we are still pretty much uh, good on raid. I can't expect to finish Dusk Mystic in, I think I did 1,100 keys. But we get so many dupes that I feel like they are out to get me. We are still missing the chest and the uh, legs. Uh, just one pearl rod. Also should get down to finishing up the aerial fishing because just have it done, man. And I'm, I don't know, I don't have warm gloves. Probably when I did Winter Todd a couple of years ago, they were not stirrable. And uh, yeah, one other topic that I wanted to talk about was my New Year resolutions for RuneScape, because that's the thing that I started doing last year. And last year I set some pretty easy ones because I just wanted to fill them, uh, finish them easily. And I managed to finish all of them. And this year... I went a little more ambitious, and by a little I mean quite a lot more ambitious, and well, we didn't manage to finish them off. Uh, I had four resolutions for this account for 2022, and the first one of them was to max, which we did in February. That was a given, but it was the biggest thing since the start of this account, so I'm really, really proud of it, as I said before. Then there was 600 collection log slots. The plan after maxing was to jump straight into collection logging, which we did. And yes, I am past 600, so that is fantastic. 651 currently. Out of uh, 1,430. I don't know how many there will be next year. And then we have two resolutions that I didn't finish. I wanted to either have a Dragon War Hammer or 10k KC. I think I'm like at 400 KC and no hammer. So yes, and uh, I wanted to have 50 million fletching XP and we are sitting at 33. Probably the biggest contributor to why we didn't finish those goals because they are relatively obtainable is that I started a job this year. My first real actual big boy job and they really take up more of your time than you expect. Eight hours every single day except weekends when you get to do responsibilities and no joke for your playtime. Um, that being said, I could probably finish this whole grind if I stuck up with it for the shamans and getting some more GP for fletching. But I got pretty into just random collection logging and some other games, so... 
Uh, but I'm not too bummed out about it. You know, RuneScape is a game where there's always something more to do and we just have to finish those before moving on. So that will be it for my main UIM, but we also have one more UIM to play, the free-to-play UIM, so I will also be showcasing that account. So moving on to the free-to-play UIM, we don't have any POH to look through, so this will be a lot shorter. Let's quickly go through stats. We are at 98 attack, and I purposely stopped training that skill because it's pretty free and I would like to finish it at most giants when going for uh, mossy keys for the Bryophytus Essence. And before we go for Bryophytus Essence, I would like to get a lot of nature runes and we are not there yet. Other melees are done, range is done, prayer is 81 and it's one of those two big, big, gigantic free-to-play UIM walls, the other one being runecrafting. Those two skills combined are like most of the EHP you can get while maxing that account. Uh, magic is done, and one of my current goals is actually a lot of post-max magic and range XP. So currently we are at 21.8 million magic XP, and 28.5 range XP. And also that means we are in the top 10 at rank 7 when it comes to free-to-play irons. Not counting regs, just irons. 99 hit points, that's pretty obvious. 94 mining for free-to-play UIMs, that is free. So I'm in absolutely no rush to finish this. When we get to 99 smithing and 99 crafting, this will be far past 99 for sure. And fishing, cooking, fire making, wood cutting is also all at 99. All combined, 14, 14 total level, 185 mil XP. On this account, I'm going a lot more into the total experience and just experience in general uh, than on my main UIM where there's a lot of other different completionist goals that I'm going through. And when it comes to the inventory, I am still a hoarder on this account as well. And without death banks and looting bags, this can be felt really badly. So um, let's maybe start from the top. I only have a little bit iron and steel arrows because I just shot them recently while AFKing at uh, what are these called? Crawlers? Because when I'm killing ogresses, we get a lot of iron and steel arrows and just why not pick them up and use them up whenever I need AFK. Optimal AFK time usage is key. And I switched to using half and half mithril and adamant arrows. The Reason being that they are just a lot faster to buy this way. I buy 100 of these and 100 of these. Uh, Mithril suffer quite a bit when compared to Adamant's. They have minus 9 range bonus. Um, but it's not too tragic and I'm not into like 100% maximizing efficiency. I would rather stack a lot of GP because I think that's cool. Then I have uncut rubies, uncut diamonds, and big bones. I'm hoarding all those, especially big bones. Uh, one of my very stupid goals was getting 1,000 noted big bones, and with the whole Bryophyta grind ahead of us, maybe we'll get to 2k, who knows. I will use them up eventually because on a free-to-play UIM, every single inventory slot counts, and you really can't do stuff like this. Um... But I'm probably gonna hoard this the longest. When it comes to the rubies and the diamonds, after Bryophyta grind, I will be using them up with some gold for some crafting XP. A little bit different to the usual method, but I think it will be cool for like an hour of uh, pretty good crafting rates. And then we'll uh, free up those two slots. Then I have the bone fragments and the skull scepter. This is the reason why when I need to AFK, I AFK at crawlers, because these can be used to teleport to Barbarian Village, and that is very, very good for free-to-play UAM runecrafting. And as I said before, runecrafting, very slow, need everything you can get. Then there's runes, and uh, apart from these usual 
runes that uh, I, I use mind runes whenever I need to heavily AFK on this account for splashing because as I said one of the goals is to get post max 99 uh, post 99 magic XP and splashing fire uh, strikes is not too bad actually and then we have chaos runes and death runes which will be used for a lot of magic XP I'm still staying for a long time at Ogresses, so maybe these will get to like 200k chaos and maybe 50k or 60k death runes. That would be sick. Uh, whenever I have excess GP, I sometimes buy chaos runes because when you shoot chaos runes, fire bolts at Ogresses, you get about half of what you put in GP wise back. Uh, but death runes, you get like 10% of it back with only a little bit higher XP so uh, when going for 99 magic use death runes when going for very long term like 200 mil uh, chaos are just much more affordable then cosmics I picked them up because why not but there is not much use for cosmic runes in free to play so I will just drop them to my alt most likely uh, and then 62,000 laws and 26,000 nature runes is probably my proudest stacks on this account. If we were to grind nature runes for 99 smithing, that would be about 200k. Uh, we real realistically need a lot less because 99 crafting gets you nine, uh, a lot of smithing XP passively. Um... But yes, I like to see number of runes go up, so that's what I will do. We could go and telegraph them in the wilderness, but with all of this that I have on me, I would have to death pile, and that makes it really inefficient. So shooting aggresses, it is. And lastly, I have my rune kite shield here. This one, I can't smith yet. It's from Ober, so that's why I am keeping it. And there's also a little bit of collection logging I did on the free-to-play UIM, mostly beginner clues. We have 1,000 beginners completed. I have at the back of my head a thought of doing more, uh, but for now I'm not sure how I feel about that. It feels like a... It feels like it's not for me, especially since beginners are getting easier and easier. I don't really want to sink that much time into it. So yes, that is it for the free-to-play UIM. But I also have one last thing that I wanted to share. And that one last thing will be my regular alts bank. At the start of this year, I started dropping items over to my alt that I no longer needed from my main UIM and from my free-to-play UIM. And we're gonna see how much a year worth of dropping items on a UIM that doesn't really do that much PVM gets you, so... Without further ado, this is the bank. It's only slightly sorted here, down there. It's a even bigger mess. And the guide says it's 94 mil. That will not count those items down here. These are the items that I had on my alt previously, so we're not counting those. But in very, very short, this is mostly done, uh, gotten from a lot of clues. So we have a lot of teleports, a lot of pages, a lot of beginner items from my free-to-play UIM and a little bit from my pay-to-play UIM as well. Some supplies that I dropped, 45k coal, some random planks that I didn't have a use for. As I said, mostly clue items and random garbage, like one diamond. How did this get here? And uh, yeah, from the more expensive items let's say we got two hydro letters that i decided to drop we got the elven signet that i have no use for the ham joint five crystal armor seeds that i got over the five that i already kept so this is probably what contributes to the most of the bank value and 750 purple sweets from all of the clues so I would wager that most of those 94 mils is those five items right here. Actually, let me try this. Let's withdraw all of this. And let's do a... Yeah, that was... Well, not more than a half, but around a half. So, 
what will happen to all of those items now. I will be selling all of this up until the items that I get here. These will not be touched. Uh, and uh, I just dropped for 100k. Never mind. Mainscape is really weird. Uh, I will be selling all of those so we can start next year with a clean slate and with those 93 now mil. Uh, I will either be buying bonds for myself to sustain some accounts that I would like to try, or I will be buying BA boosts, but 93 mil is very far from being able to afford them, so probably just bonds. And we will see if I can top this next year, maybe by doing some more lucrative PVMing and some more PVMing in general, so... Yes, that will be it for this year's bag video for the UIM. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had a great year. And I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.